Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Kennedy Simone here, and I am back again with another video. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe to be a part of Ken's crew, because we're the best crew. Happy 2020, Ken Folk, you know? That's the new name, you know, I'm trying to come up with. Ken Folk, K-E-N, Folk, you know, family. We here with it, y'all like it? Anyways, so from the title, this video is gonna be about the best college life hacks for 2020. You wanna stay tuned for this video because I give you everything you need to have the best college life of 2020, okay? We're coming into 4.0 season, we're approaching it, and I want y'all to be prepared, okay? I'm gonna get prepared as y'all will get prepared, okay? So let's get into it, let's start off on a great note. As I say in all of my college advice videos, I have a whole playlist of college advice videos. I have over 50 videos of those. So definitely check them out after you check this one, binge watch them, all the good stuff, get you prepared for the new semester, the new year, the new decade. It's giving good vibes, okay? It's giving, okay? Also, you should check out my college vlog playlist. I'll have both of those playlists linked down below. I am a junior economics major at Spelman College in Atlanta, Georgia. It's the number one HBCU in the country, okay? So yeah, definitely check those two playlists out down below. I'll link them in the description box. So if y'all ready to have the best semester ever, just keep on watching. So the first thing I have on here is to network. When I say college is literally, like one of the main priorities of going to college is to network, I mean it. Because literally, what do you always hear? It's about who you know not what you know okay but obviously what you know and who you know put together that's a deadly combination so i would say when you go to college this new semester this new year i would say try to meet some new people try to have some new friends have some new people in your group of network and it will very it will definitely benefit you it won't hinder you in any way shape or form because the more people you know the better and it'll help you out in the long run you'll get different perspectives and just meeting new people in general is just fun exciting and it broadens your perspective so another thing i would say is uphold your reputation so if this is your first semester if this isn't your first semester regardless reputation is key reputation is everything so i would say definitely keep up your reputation always try to improve upon who you are try to better yourself each and every day that's what i strive to do so i would say don't go into this new semester this new year and ruin your reputation okay try to better it each and every day you can do this by showing leadership qualities doing community service um just being an overall great person doing something good an act of kindness complimenting people you know different things like that do things out of the kindness of your heart because that will definitely uphold your reputation so another thing to have a great semester is sit at the front of the class i don't know how many times i've said this in my many different college advice videos but sitting in the front of the class will benefit you in more ways than one. A couple ways that sitting in the front of the class does is helps you pay attention. When you're in front of the class, you're not gonna be talking, you're not gonna be on your phone because the professor is literally looking at you. They're literally right in front of your face. Also, it is proven that sitting in front of the class or sitting closer to the front of the class will help your memory. It will also help your attention be longer and more focused. So definitely sit in front of the class, whether you wanna look like a teacher's pet or not, Honestly, it doesn't matter, we're all grown. Sitting in front of the class will help you and it will definitely keep you in front of the professors, you know, keep them in front of your brain, okay? It will also help your professors know your face, possibly know your name, you'll probably participate more. All of those good things we love, okay? That brings me into my next point, get to know your professors. So knowing your professors is one of the best things you can do in a class. So most of the professors obviously just grade grades based on what you got. But some professors, you know, are a little lenient. And also if you're on the borderline of a grade, you want to know your professors. You want your professors to know you. You want to be in their office hours, of course, sitting in front of the class, asking questions, participating, emailing them if you have questions or all that kind of stuff, whatever they prefer their line of contact to be, go for it, okay? Get to know your professors. Also, it's another form of networking your professors 
they're already in their field okay they know people they're professionals they probably have different contacts that will benefit you so another great tip i have for you guys is to review your work every night so i have trouble doing this and i'm trying to implement this more into this next semester this next year so i have a little trouble doing this because i kind of get sidetracked sometimes some days i just don't feel like it i highly 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 suggest you review every night because when you're reviewing this every night when the quiz comes if you have a pop quiz when that comes a quiz test exam homework it'll be fresh in your brain you don't have to do like oh i don't even remember what we talked about when you review every night you've heard it in class when you review you do it then and then the next day and the next day and the next day you're seeing this over and over and over again it's going to be embedded into your brain you have no other choice but to remember it okay they say after two weeks or so it becomes a habit when you do it so often when you review every every so often i would say every night um especially every school night i would suggest is what you learned in class review it later whether that be immediately after class later on whenever you do your homework maybe right before bed or a little bit you know after dinner whatever time you want to i would say review what you learned that day that same day but later on and it will help you tremendously also this leads into my next point of staying ahead because you don't want to be behind in your schoolwork and when you're ahead you don't have to be stressed that leaves less room for procrastination which is another point i wrote down but yes yeah, staying ahead of the game will help you tremendously in reviewing your work will also help you stay ahead of the game Another thing about having a great semester is don't buy those books from the bookstore unless you absolutely have to. Like I have certain classes that are Spelman specific that I have to buy the book for that class. But even then, if y'all have a PDF, split it between your class. Try to get a group me together and be like, let's all pitch in a dollar. I'll buy it. Y'all cash at me a dollar and we all and I'll send the PDF to everybody. Okay. Y'all got to figure out ways to finesse. Finesse or get finesse. Okay. Come on now. We are in college. The playground of finessers. Okay. We know how to get through things without, you know, doing too much okay but yeah i definitely highly suggest you just look at the syllabus be in class for a couple days before you buy the book because you don't want to have to spend unnecessary money and budgeting is essential and having a great semester which leads me into my next point budget come on y'all we are grown we're in college we need to start budgeting. We need to be smart with our money. A lot of people have already started to pay their own rent, having to have a job, all that kind of stuff. It's about to be the real world very, very soon. I hate to break it to you. I hate to break this to myself because I don't want to be in the real world just yet. I wish I could be a kid forever, but I'm not Peter Pan. That's not how life works. So definitely, I would say be smart with your money, budget. I would highly recommend you print out your bank statements or just write down everything you buy for like a month or a week or however time period you want and just highlight, okay, I'm spending this much on gas, I'm spending this much on food, this much on miscellaneous things that, you know, I don't know, night out, shopping, I don't know, clothes, whatever you are spending your money on, write it down and you'll be surprised on how much money you are spending, how much unnecessary money you're spending. You want to be financially smart, okay, with your money because these people out here trying to play games, use your student discounts while you can, all that good stuff. So another great tip I have is record your lectures. I implemented this the spring semester of my sophomore year and this past semester, the fall semester of my junior year. And it helps tremendously, especially when you're doing quizzes, especially when you're doing homework, tests, and just when your professor is just talking really fast and you can't write everything down. And that's usually how it goes, especially in my classes. My professors speak really quickly. They don't really go too much in depth, but they do say things that are super important that I want to really go over and this can go into reviewing your work every night you can listen to the lectures while you're making dinner or while you're taking a shower or just kind of lounging around cleaning up your room anything listen to those lectures over and over and over again I usually listen to them once and I'll listen to them when I'm reviewing for the exam or test or midterms and finals you can slow them down you can speed them up you can skip to certain parts 
And also another tip is to write down your notes. I know this is a digital age where everybody types everything, but it is proven that when you put pen to paper, you remember it better. So another thing, I should have started off with this, use a planner, okay? Y'all, we need to be organized in this new semester. We need to be organized in this new year, decade, life in general. I highly suggest you having a planner, whether that be on Google Docs, written planner, anything that will help you out with organizing your life in your day-to-day, -day, weekly life because we have so much going on, so many classes, extracurriculars, all that kind of stuff. You want to be organized and you don't want to forget things and be like, I could have written this down and I didn't. But yes, definitely get you a planner. Also, get you a calendar, a whiteboard, a little calendar where you can write major, important, mandatory things that you know you don't have to write down too many details about like, test this day, quiz this day, um, event this day, club meeting this day, I need this project due on this day. That kind of stuff, I highly suggest having a whiteboard in your room or somewhere where you look at it every single day that you can write out big to-dos and big things that are happening because planners and calendars, amazing, okay? You need it in your life. Stay organized all 2020, okay? So another thing that is very underrated is having one go-to person in every class. So I know you have those times where you're like, ah, I forgot what page homework she said. Uh, I forgot what day she moved the quiz to. You know, different things. You have different questions about certain things, whether that be on the homework assignment. You need to have one go-to person where you can ask those kind of questions and they can ask you those type of questions. It needs to be reciprocated as well. Don't just try to ask them questions and don't know the answers when they ask you. So I would highly suggest you having that one go-to person. Obviously, I say make a group meet for the whole class so you can have, you know, a contact of all of your classmates or at least most of them. And so you can have somebody to go to and somebody in class that you know they got your back and you got theirs. Also, if projects come up, that can be your partner. You know, different things like that. So another great tip I have for you guys for a great semester is start off strong okay so I know we go into this new year energized motivated inspired ready to get to work ready to grind it out hustle motivated you know so keep that same energy especially from the start because I know freshman year if you're a freshman and or you're about to be a freshman next semester or something like that start off strong because it's hard to make up and play catch up and all that kind of stuff and that goes into each semester you want to start each semester strong because once it gets to the middle you kind of are lacking a little bit of motivation you don't have as much energy as you did at the beginning you're not as inspired and motivated so I would say just start off strong start off at the top of your game and so you don't have to you know play catch up and do all that extra stuff that leaves a lot of room for stress that means you're procrastinating if you're not starting off strong. So that is a great tip I have. Have a non-stressful hobby or outlet. So one of the main things I do that isn't too stressful that I love to do is write music. I love to record and make YouTube videos for you guys and interact with you guys on social media. I love music. I love hanging out with my friends. Just have different non-stressful outlets and hobbies that you can go to whenever you're a little stressed. Sometimes it gets overwhelming. I understand. I feel like every college student has been in a predicament where they're super stressful and they, they just need something else to put their mind on, you know, ease the stress a little. So I would definitely suggest having one or two different outlets or just people you can go to that, you know, won't create stress that will alleviate stress. And you'll just have a better overall, you know, positive mindset when you finish doing that certain thing or talking to that certain person. And the last thing I have for you guys is mental health is important, okay? So I know a lot of people talk about, you know, being organized and, you know, I talk about that as well. But a main key thing of having a great semester, of owning your life, of being the best you you can be in this new year, this new decade, this new semester is 
mental health. It's all up here. It's all mind over matter, okay? I highly suggest you, um, like I said, having a non-stressful outlet, having somebody you can talk to, don't be too good for therapy. You can have a great life and still go to therapy, okay? It's always good to talk out things. It's always good to, you know, have self-care. Self-care and mental health can be two different things, but at the same time, when you do self-care, when you're stress-free, all that kind of stuff, it can help your mental, okay? Your mind is something that you can't, you know, play with. It's the thing that rules everything, okay? And your mental health runs the rest of your body. It runs your life, okay? And people take it for granted. People don't get enough sleep. Get your eight hours if you can. Your mental health is very important for a long, positive, productive lifestyles. I wish you the best on this new semester. It's 4.0 season. Have a great semester. So my question for so my question for you, I want you to comment down below. What are you doing right now that will help prepare you for a great semester, the best semester yet? I want you to let me know in the comments, whether that be something I named off, whether there's something else, let us know in the comments down below. We all want to learn from each other. This is a community. This is a family. Ken, folk, we here with it, okay? Ken's crew. We are here to help each other, build each other up, have a great college life. We're having a great life overall. I want you guys to talk to me in the comment section down below. I always answer to you guys every single comment. I want you guys to let me know what you're doing right now to have the best semester. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see. College related, business related, YouTube advice, motivational videos, Anything like that, comment down below what you guys want to see from me in this new year. I'm super excited. I'm super refreshed, rejuvenated, and I'm super excited for you guys and everything that we have in store for this new year. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next one. Passion, purpose, prosper. Bye. Kennedy, Simone.